This video will serve as a brief overview of our patient vitals monitors, how they work and what accessories are included. When we send out our monitors, they tend to look something like this. But by the time you're done with this video, your unit should look like this. These vitals units go by a variety of different names, but we refer to them simply as heart monitors. Other names include critical care monitor, the machine that goes bing, ECG, EKG. Please do not confuse that with EEG or EGG. There are a few different models, but the ones we are looking at today are all GE brands, so the interfaces will be very similar to each other. All units include a complete set of patient cables, a five lead ECG, pulse ox finger probe, and blood pressure cuff. Also included is a patient simulator box, but more on that in a bit. To start, make sure your monitor has power. Some take batteries, but most plug into AC power. They should power on within five to 10 seconds, but if not, hold the power button until the screen lights up. These are all real working units, so you have the option of using them live or simulated. Live means you will be using your actor's real heartbeat, and simulated means you will be using a fake heartbeat. First, let's talk about using it live. By using the included patient cables, the monitor will display your actor's real vitals. Attach the provided ECG cable and electrode stickers to your actor's chest and put the green cable into the green monitor port. Put the pulse ox probe on their index finger, plug its blue cable into the blue port, and the screen will display their real live heart rhythm. For more detailed information about patient cables and placement on your actor, check out the video here or click the link in the description below. The other, more popular option is to simulate the heart monitor. Using the included patient simulator box, or SIM, you can manipulate artificial rhythms on screen. This is what most people do in order to match the monitor waveforms to what is called for in their script. Without the simulator, it may be difficult for your actor to flatline on command. Cut. Cut, cut. What's wrong with this guy? Don't worry, boss. I got you covered. Hey, what's that? This is a simulator. We flatline this so you don't have to. We provide one of two types of sims. They hook up the same way and have similar interfaces. Each unit comes with a duplicate set of five lead ECG cables to connect the SIM to the monitor. If not already attached, the cables are labeled and color coordinated. Red LL cable attaches to red LL snap, etc. Then plug the simulator cable into the green input on the monitor. Hit the power button and you should immediately see a normal resting heart rate, or NSR. This is a common rhythm and works for most scenes where a patient is resting calmly but the simulator provides many other options for heart rhythms. Feel free to familiarize yourself with the buttons and see what works best for your scene. And if you want even more information about the simulator and all of its settings, check out this additional video here or click the link below. Even though you are going to use the sim to create the waveforms, you should still connect the patient cables to your actor for realism. But instead of plugging them in, simply drape them off the bed turning them into what we call dummy cables. Hide the SIM under the bed and congratulations, you have now sold the illusion. Side note, a common question we get is, does the heart monitor accept video playback? Yes and no. Certain models we rent will include DVI or VGA video inputs on the back of the screen. If so, insert your own cable and run whatever video you desire to the monitor. However, some models are all-in-one units that do not give you this option. In that case, the simulator is still your best bet. If for some reason your monitor is not cooperating or you have more questions, please check out the other video we've made that covers common issues and troubleshooting. You should now have all the basics you need to confidently use a heart monitor and simulator for your scene. But, as mentioned, if you need more details on patient cable hookup, simulators, or troubleshooting, 
We have created entirely separate videos to cover those subjects. And as always, if you need more info or have any questions, feel free to contact a member of the A1 Medical Team. Ah, I see you have the machine that goes bing!